Hi, and welcome to our DAS Trader Tips video. In this video, we will cover frequently asked questions that are asked by clients who use DAS. Here is an index of topics we will cover in the video, along with time markers allowing you to skip ahead to your area of interest. Pause the screen here to note the topics that we are covering so that you can skip directly ahead to the ones you wish to focus on. New Configuration Window Dastrader has created a new configuration window that consolidates all configuration windows for easier reference and more functionality. Recent versions of DAS already has the new configuration window selected by default, but older versions may still be default to the old configuration window. We highly recommend that traders use the new configuration window since there are many new features and configuration options that are only available on the new config window. To implement this, go to Setup, then Other Configuration, then check Use New Configuration. Again, you may not need to do this step if you go to Setup, then Other Configuration and your window looks like this new configuration window. Trendline Max Reached DAS has implemented a trendline management system to help optimize your chart speed and performance. If you receive an error message that you have reached your max amount of trendlines, there are two things that you can do. The recommended option is to delete old or unwanted trend lines. To do this, do a right click on the chart, go to Trendline, then Trendline Management. This will bring up a window that will display all your trend lines. You can highlight the ones you wish to remove and click Delete Trend Lines to reduce the number of trend lines you have. This is the recommended method. The second option you could do is increase the maximum number of trend lines by going to Setup, then Trading Settings. Scroll down until you see Global Trend Line Management. The default is set to 300, but you may increase it to your preference. While increasing the number is a viable option, it is not our recommended approach as having too many trend lines may have a negative effect on your chart's performance. It is recommended to keep it near the default amount to keep things optimized, highlighting market maker size. DAS has a configuration setting that allows you to highlight a minimum market maker size on level 2. To access this setting, you will need to use the new configuration window. If you do not see the config options under your normal level 2 config menu, go to Setup. Then Other Configuration Setting and enable this option that says Use New Configuration Window and click OK. Then go back to your Montage Level 2, right-click, and select Level 2 Config. Scroll down to the section that says Quotes Highlight, and you can set your configuration. This is the field where you will input the actual share's size minimum, not lot size, that you would like to highlight. For our example, I will highlight orders above 1,000 shares. We can set the text and background color here as well. Then we'll click OK, and you can see that all quote sizes above 1,000 shares are highlighted. The level 2 is showing lot sizes, so we see that anything at 10 or higher is noted. Transferring data files. Traders may have the need to transfer their customized settings, often when they are changing computers, upgrading from the free trial to paid versions, or when changing between different brokers who use DAS. Instead of rebuilding your layouts and other customizations, you can simply transfer the settings by moving just a few files. To do this, first go to your Windows File Explorer and click on your C drive for your PC, then locate your DAS Trader folder where you will see all your data files. The files that are transferable are your .dsk files, which are your desktop layouts, .htk for your hotkeys, .cst for chart settings, .hkb for hot buttons, and finally .dat files, which are your trend lines. Note that you may not necessarily have all those files, as they would only be present in your Dastrader folder if you had a file saved. Once you have identified all the files you want to transfer, copy all of those files or save them into an external location, like a thumb drive or somewhere else on your desktop. Here I'll just copy them, since I am transferring them into another Dastrader folder on my same computer. Then, go to your new Dastrader folder and paste those files. It will ask you if you wish to replace the current files. If you are OK with replacing all the current files, then just hit OK. I would like to add that upon logging into DAS, the file name default.dsk will be the layout that is loaded automatically. 
creating hot buttons. Hot buttons are buttons that you can create on our montage that you can apply hotkey key scripts to which will help to make sending orders and managing your trades and positions easier and more efficient when using repetitive commands. To add hot buttons to the montage, do a right click anywhere on the montage and select Layout Config and select the drop down menu to the right of Window Style. This window pane on the right side of the dialog window will show you which sections are included in the montage. Highlight Hot button on the left side and move it over to the right side so that you now have Level 1, Level 2, Trade, and Hot button. You can change the order of those sections with the up and down buttons here. Once everything is set, click on OK, then click on OK on the Configuration Management window to close it out. Now you can see an area on the montage to right-click to add a button. Right-click and select Add Row, then input the amount of buttons you would like to have in your row. For our example, I'll put three and hit OK. Now you can see that we have added three hot buttons to our montage. These buttons are ready to add in hotkey scripts to help make your trading more efficient. To add the hotkey scripts, do a right click and select Edit. This script section is where you will paste your hotkey scripts that you copied from your hotkey window or if you have them saved on a Word document. To share an example of a useful script, I will type in the following script as shown on the screen. This script will cancel all open orders for the stock in the montage, then send a market order to liquidate your position regardless if you are long or short. So if you are long, it will send a sell market order, and if you are short, it will send a buy market order. To explain the hotkey script by codes of this very useful script, all sim will cancel all open orders for the stock in the montage. Route equal market will set your route to market, Share equal POS will set your volume to your position. Send equal reverse will automatically send the appropriate buy or sell order to liquidate your position whether you are long or short, meaning it will send a sell order if you are long and a buy order if you are short. Once you are done entering your script, give it a name. For our example, I'll input liquidate position. I'll change the text color to white and make it a red button. You can change the button size and fonts here, but I'll just click OK to save it and exit out. Here is the button we've just created. To show you how the button and script works, I will double click on my long position in MSFT to load it into my montage. Here you see, I also have an order to sell that is open. As I hit my liquidate position button, and you can see my open order was canceled and my position in MSFT sold. I'll now double click on my short position in SPY to load it into the montage. Now I'll click the same button and it just liquidated my short position in SPY at the market. Creating a duplicate window icon. This is not a commonly asked question, but I will show how to create an icon on your toolbar to duplicate windows. This will make setting your desktop layouts a lot faster and easier. First, go to the Tools tab and ensure you have the Trade and Tools bar selected. Doing so will ensure you have these pre-made icons on the top here. This left section is the Trade Toolbar. On the right here is the Tools Toolbar. Do a right click on the right side here and select New. In the command field, you will type in Duplicate Window one word with a capital D and a capital W. Then in the Name and Toolbar, you can put in Duplicate Window normally. Next, we will click on the Change icon so that we can select something more intuitive to represent our Duplicate Window button. This copy icon here is nice, so I'll click on that and hit OK. Now that everything is set, we'll click on OK to close the config button window. Now you can see our new created icon here. Hovering our mouse over the button will show its description, duplicate window. Now I can just go down and click on this chart down here, then click on our duplicate window icon, and it instantly creates an exact duplicate. I can do it for the montage as well. As a note, not all windows are able to be duplicated. If it isn't, you will receive an error message indicating as such. Setting account default. Some traders have both real and simulated accounts or multiple live accounts associated with their DAS login. There are a few ways to set your default account for your montage. One is to set the default for that specific montage. You can do this by doing a right click on the TMP button to bring up the local default configuration window. First, make sure this option, Use Global Default, is left unchecked, 
Otherwise, the global settings will override these local settings. Then, set your desired account and other settings and click on Apply to All Exchanges. For this local montage, I'll set it to my TR Demo DJ account. This will ensure that you will have the desired account set no matter which exchange the stock trades on. Then I'll click on Apply and OK. This montage is now set to default to my DJ account. If you want to apply your default settings to all montages, then set your default settings via the global default page by going to the Setup tab and selecting Order Templates. For my global setting, I'll set it to my TR Demo QT account. After I'm done setting my preferences, I'll hit Apply to All Exchanges and OK. If I open another montage, I'll do a right-click on TMP button and ensure that Use Global Default is checked. You can see that it defaults to my QT account implementing the global default settings as opposed to the other montage that is configured to the local settings, which sets it to my account ending in DJ. One helpful tip to avoid any confusion when trading multiple accounts, such as your simulated versus training account, would be to create separate trading stations dedicated to each account. As an example, this montage uses local TMP settings set to my DJ account while the other two are set to use the global settings set to my QT account. Creating differentiating stations for each account could help to avoid the mistake of placing trades into the wrong account. Enabling show orders, show trades, and order adjustment. To customize your chart to show your orders, trades, and enabling order adjustment, do a right-click on the chart, then go to Chart Area, then Config Area. Along the left side here, you see the section Trade and Order Viewer Settings. Place a check next to Show Trades, Show Orders, and Enable Order Entry Order Line Movement. You can also customize the size of the triangles, showing your orders and trades here. Once set, click on OK. Now you can see your trades as indicated with the triangles. Here is my open sell order in SPY, which I can click and drag to adjust the price. Resetting BP and Equity if you have a simulated account, you can reset your BP and equity yourself. To do this, highlight your simulated account in the Accounts window and do a right-click and select Reset BP slash Equity. Input your desired equity and buying power amount. Keep in mind that DAS will use the ratio of BP to equity as your leverage each day until you specify otherwise. So if you put equity of 10,000 and BP of 40,000, your DAS will use a leveraging factor of 4 to 1 each day. Click on Commit to save your settings, then Quit to exit. Configuring alerts on account actions. A common issue when setting up alerts on account actions such as canceled orders, order execution, and P&L related matters happens when the account number is not configured. For instance, if we double-click here to add an order fill alert, it loads it into the main window. Here you see account equals my account. Traders assume it's already set to their account, but it's not. You will need to double click on the field and use the drop down menu to select your specific account, then hit OK. Then continue on to configure the rest of your alert settings, and once done, hit OK to complete the process. Trading Settings Configuration most traders do not know that we have expanded configuration options to help customize the platform to their specific trading preferences. Go to the Setup tab and select Trading Settings. Here you can look through the different options you have relating to your trading tools. There are a lot of options on how to handle the shares or prices in your montage, as well as a host of other miscellaneous options that help to enrich your experience with the DAS platform. If you have any questions about any of these fields, you can bring up the user guide through the Help menu. Then scroll down to page 41, where you will have a detailed explanation of what each option is. Finding Firm ID and Configuring Mobile App In order to use your mobile app, you will need to configure your settings. At the Login page, hit Setup in the upper right. You will need to input your Firm ID. If you do not know your firm ID, you can find it by launching your DASTrader platform and looking to the bottom right area of the platform here. The first four letters that start this sequence of characters here is where you will find your firm ID. Here mine says DEMO. So going back to my mobile app, I'll enter DEMO as the firm ID and hit Done on my keyboard, which will auto-populate the rest of the fields. Then hit Save Configuration, and now you are ready to log in. 
changing quote servers. For the most part, you won't need to change your quote servers, but if you do find an issue with the data coming in, you may try changing the quote server to see if it helps to resolve your issue. To do this, go to File, then Data Stream Mode, and click on Switch Quote Server. This will show you all the available servers and which one you are currently connected to. Select an available server and hit Connect. This will change your quote server. Knowledge Base in the support section of our website, Dastriter has a knowledge base where you can find help on a lot of topics that you can search for. It is a great tool for finding answers on a lot of topics. We'll leave a direct link to the knowledge base in the description below. Thank you for joining our Dastriter video on frequently asked questions. We encourage you to browse through our YouTube channel at Dastrader TV, where you will find great information on the features of our platform. Follow us on social media at at DasTrader, and don't forget to like and subscribe to this video for updates on new content. Thanks again for joining us.